I media in our service for empowerment and education. Here we are at the TEDx event at Amanda Beluj University. I have the curator, the convener of the TEDx here, and will be dashing out and furnishing us with information concerning TEDx. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please, may we meet you? Uh, my name is Suleiman Mohammed Mukhtar, and I'm the organizer for TEDx Madhubala University. We've heard TEDx, we've heard TED Talk. What is TEDx? What is TED Talk about? Um, TEDx, um, the TED itself, the stands for technology, entertainment, and design. And the X equals an independently organized TED event, as you can see here. That means there's a TED Global in the United States that happens every year in different universities. Um, locations and the X is for those of us in different local localities that actually organizes in our own areas. So what does it take to host the TEDx? Uh, you basically apply for a license that takes eight weeks. You, it's online. You can just Google um, apply for a TEDx license. When you do it, the application process is very rigorous. After that, you do some series of Skype interviews and then you wait. If they find you eligible, yeah, then you go. Then they give you a license. After you've been licensed, what do you need to do this? Well, you need a lot of money first. Money makes everything work, that's what I believe. Yeah, you need a good team, true. But money, you must get to where you need money. And then you need, a good good, you need good people around you. People that are willing to personalize it as much as you have personalized it as well. And that's how it works. Because if you don't have those people around you, then basically you're just, ending, you're just wasting your time. Because you can't do everything. I'm here taking an interview. I have people downstairs ensuring that people are eating. I have people outside making sure that people coming from Lagos are actually coming. So, so what was your criteria for selecting your speakers? Um, TED ensures that you have um, diverse speakers from different localities and different works of life. And so we usually, what we usually do, I and my team annually, but as soon as we're done with this event, we do, we do the same thing. We, we draft a list of 200 speakers and then we begin to decide who should come. And then we keep cutting and then we pick the best that we can actually get. Now we've started the program, we've gotten like four speakers. How do you feel now? Relieved. You should know. <laughs> yeah, basically. So what's your, what's your parting word for Nigerians and for those watching us from all over the world? Oh, well, I'm just saying that if you have something in mind to do, you should go ahead and just do it. Like the last guy just said, just stop thinking and show up. And yeah, you know, it doesn't take much, as much as you think it takes. You just, I, I believe in, I live in one philosophy, bite off more than you can chew. So that even if you do choke, what is left in your mouth can actually satisfy your stomach. Wonderful. Thanks for having you. Thanks for being on the, on the iMedia platform. We hope to have more and more. For what you guys did for me so much. Honestly, these guys basically came from Abuja free to ensure that this event actually had. And look at the amazing gadgets they actually came with. Honest, and they're very, very professional. I would ask I would recommend. you to tell people to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I would recommend any damn single time. Honestly, these guys are, you guys are awesome. Thank That's you all I have to say. Thank honestly. you very much. Thank you. So much. Thank you.